Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a very quick uh, speed test comparison here between the latest Xperia XZ against some of the flagship Sony phones, uh, which we do have. Uh, we do have the X Performance, the Z5, and the Z3. A lot of people wanting to see the Z3 compared here against the latest from Sony. So we're going to check it out here. Uh, we've kept all of them on the stock software, and they're both they're all up to date. Uh, to the latest firmware so should be a fair test here and uh, we're going to start them up at the same time as well if we can uh, so this shouldn't be too difficult uh, so three two one let's go oh dear we did land the uh, the X performance on its face. I guess it deserves it really. So which is going to come on first? Which is going to come on first? XZ? XZ for the win? Oh no! Z3! You see? I told you! I told you! 2014 pinnacle of technology everything you know is slow and buggy z5 xz third wow that's pretty bad and as expected the uh, x performance last here did anyone actually buy the x performance i don't know probably i was the only one who bought it uh, but you can get some good deals on it actually now because obviously the XZ has come out and supplanted it. But we're going to have a look here at the performance, see if there's any improvement. So you can see straight away there's definitely improvement when it comes to the displays. Uh, I think they are all on roughly the same brightness here. And you can see the X performance and the XZ very nice. I also like the way that Sony's like made a curved display here. Uh, which kind of curves around the outside uh, probably you can't see it from your angle but I can certainly see it uh, which you didn't get with the old Sony's obviously we have type C as well uh, and no more flap nonsense that we used to have with the Z3 which is an improvement uh, but you know if you're not bothered about that then we can have a look at the actual performance here we're going to run a speed test of the Wi-Fi and it'd be very funny if uh, the old phones could keep up here. So we'll just check the server's correct. So it looks like the server's correct. And let's start with the Z3. Coming with the Snapdragon 801, which was, I think, overclocked compared to the Z, the other Z phones and 3 gigs of RAM as I remember 21 megapixel camera X and more uh, RS I think was it or maybe something else I don't know Sony changes the camera quite a lot but the results stay very similar <laughs> but uh, we do have uh, a decent score with the Z3 not uh, amazing in 2016 Z5, you can see, very nice score here. It is coming with pretty much as good as many flagships, actually. Z5 was released in 2015, late 2015. Whoa, nearly. Uh, X Performance, we do have. This is a very weird phone that Sony released straight after the Xperia X. In fact, it didn't even uh, release. It didn't release the X performance officially here. I had to import it. So, very weird phone, but it does have uh, a compact kind of build quality, five inches, uh, which is a little bit smaller than these phones. So, if you do like that, that could be nice. Uh, I think it's also got the Conovo battery care technology. Very good uh, for if you want, you know in a longer battery run I think it gives you 50% battery durability over like a couple of years so that's quite nice 
Uh, so what do we have here? We have the Z5 taking the crown. Wow, didn't expect that. So you can see the XZ just beats the X performance. Oh, what's happened here? Come back. So for some reason, the uh, Z5 doesn't want to show its greatness here. Uh, but you can see, you know, this is a very nice victory for the Z5. I did actually enjoy the Z5. I felt that it was a, a good overall phone. Uh, I didn't like the processor they used in it, which was a Snapdragon 810. It did m make for a very hot device at certain, you know, uh, points of the, when you're doing stuff like 4G, etc. I might have, I would have made it my daily driver actually, but. It was just the uh, 6P seemed to be a better overall phone at the time. Uh, in terms of the actual performance, you can see here all of them have 3 gigs of RAM uh, and uh, Snapdragon 820 in these two and Snapdragon 810, Snapdragon 801. I'm going to speed through the uh, Geekbench here because this is a long boring benchmark nowadays so we can get right to the end. So we're just finishing up here and you can see the XZ has actually beat everyone else which is very nice. Uh, I was expecting the XZ to come similar to the X performance in terms of the uh, benchmark speed of how fast it ran but you can see it is way ahead of the X performance uh, for this test. In terms of the actual score you can see we're getting single core 1654 and multi core 3754 so well far away from the Apple A10 uh, and I don't think it can reach the high of the Exynos as well in uh, Samsung devices but certainly the best Sony you can get right now in terms of the actual performance I mean look at that that is literally nearly twice as much for the multi-core than the X performance even though they're running the same architecture which is really weird I don't understand how the X performance can be so bad uh, so you can even see down here it's clocked at the same speed uh, same memory don't know what they've done with it but it's very good uh, that they've you know done whatever they've done maybe they're using faster storage or something we don't really know uh, you can have a look as well at the uh, comparison here. So I think the S7 you can see Exynos AA90 uh, coming with slightly more single core, and uh, also Note 7, which is in the landfill right now, uh, that was the best with the multi core, uh, which uh, you know is quite interesting. Even the OnePlus 3, uh, I think the OnePlus 3 gets uh, more here for the but that is clocked at 1.6 uh, so very interesting and you can see the Z3 has finished up here and it still gets a thousand for the uh, single core which is quite a remarkable achievement even phones which are being released in 2016 can't even break the uh, thousand kind of area when it comes to single core so very good uh, performance here from the Z3 and you can see how it compares here against some of the recent phones so it's sitting on the same level as the OnePlus 2 Xiaomi Mi 4C Nexus 6P a little bit higher uh, even LG Nexus 5X is lower here Motorola Nexus 6 wow LG G3 very nice and Z5 obviously as well, Snapdragon 810, uh, very decent score here. Uh, certainly a big jump from the XZ to the uh, Z5 in terms of the performance, but uh, it gets less multi-core than the Z3, which is really weird. You know, you'd expect uh, the uh, Z3 to be less there, but I guess uh, the 810 was uh, heavily throttled to keep the heat down, so that could be the reason for that. Uh, but yeah, just a quick little comparison here then of the uh, speed and performance of these devices. Uh, I might do uh, like a speed test of the uh, Z3 with the uh, XZ uh, as well as the Z5 to see, you know, how they compare head to head. But I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, found it informative. And let me know if you want to see anything in particular. I will see you in the next one. Cheers.